Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Pro video for May 25th, 2023, Thursday. And my goodness, did we have some excitement last night with the NVIDIA report. NVIDIA really gapping up, providing quite a little bit of lift to the uh, NASDAQ and SPY sector, reversing those uh those selling days and um we also have a report out from fitch that the united states is now on a triple a negative watch potential down um grade in our reporting or in our uh, bond activity and our financials here in the united states as this debt ceiling negotiation stalls out and we're now hearing reports that Congress is going to go home for the weekend with no deal. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can pick up some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can see, we have created some technical damage here in the diamonds, and the diamonds suffered the worst of it yesterday. We now officially have a lower high and a lower low, and we're actually moving a little bit lower this morning here in the pre-market with a little bit of a gap down. Now, the reason that is, um, well, uh, such a, a bad technical picture um, in the chart is just simply because we have now officially broken down below our 50 day and this morning we're going to be giving up our 200 day here at the open at least that's what it looks like unless something changes um here in the next um little while but watch that closely here um a little technical damage showing up here in the diamonds and um well, it is just not the best of pictures here overall in this sector of the market. If we were to take a look at our SPY, well, uh, SPY, gapping back up this morning here on that NVIDIA report, but we did suffer a little tiny bit of technical damage here in the SPY, and that would be that we lost price support up here and we have given up this trend at the moment. Now with the big bullishness um, in the tech sector right now and uh, from NVIDIA report, I think there's a really good chance we push on up. But if those um if those bears were to find inspiration today and let's look for a retest of this support level here and if that were to fail then of course we're going to move down into this area and there's a reason why that could occur with um, gdp jobless claims numbers uh, the money supply issue out there and then of course the downgrade from fitch um, so we'll want to keep an eye on that possibility. But if we can push on higher, look for this level here to maybe hold as resistance. And if that doesn't hold as resistance, well, popping right back above that trend and maybe pushing up here into test that resistance level in the chart. If we take a look at our QQQ, well, our QQQ, um, big time pop, completely reversing any of the selling here in the market on the NVIDIA report. Um, now the question is, breaking back through that resistance, will we prove to hold it this time? So remember, once we break a support, we need to recover that support, and prove to hold that it'll hold. And then we have that upside opportunity coming in there. So let's keep an eye on that. If the bulls are inspired beyond that point, well, we're likely going to be testing some of these levels all the way out over here in the chart. I'm going to suggest maybe somewhere right in there would be the next level test and then um, on up from that point. Um, if those bears were to come back in here today on this, well, maybe a push back down and perhaps we will retest this support level. 
and if that fails uh, then we're coming on back down into here let's take a look at our IWM IWM held up pretty well yesterday and although we had pretty substantial pullbacks here in the last couple of days the reason I say we held up is because we held right there at that 50-day moving average, kind of hanging in there. So if we hold that 50-day moving average, if we hold this downtrend break, then I'm going to have to change my opinion here on IWM and um, start thinking a little bit more to the bullish side. Now, clearly, we still have quite a little bit of resistance in the chart to be concerned about. And with the Fitch um, situation, no debt ceiling deal, you know, there's reason to potentially think this may not be the end of the selling, but we'll want to watch carefully um, here in, in uh, for IWM to see how it performs today. Let's um, take a look if the if the bears were to find inspiration here today, then I'm going to suggest a retest down into here. If the bulls find inspiration today and we bounce off of that 50 day moving average, then I'm going to look for a, a move back up, maybe testing up in here and then perhaps on higher to test that resistance again in the chart. Let's take a look one more time at the diamonds. And the only reason I'm doing that is I had forgotten to um, kind of talk about if the bulls or, or bears are inspired here. Um, I would say we're substantially sold off here. So I would expect some kind of a relief rally to come here relatively soon to the diamonds unless we kind of pile on with some bearishness here today with um, debt ceiling and those kind of things. So watch that carefully. But if we were to rally back up, if the bulls are inspired, then I would look for a retest back up in here, bounce above that 200 day moving average. And you can see maybe pushing uh, back up um, into that area. And then if that breaks, maybe back up toward that 50 day moving average in the chart. Now you'll want to keep in mind that even if we press into that 50 day moving average, I want you to notice our short term moving averages here are going to provide a pretty strong technical resistance in the chart along with price. If the um, uh, bears were to find inspiration today and continue to push to the downside, well, I'm going to suggest a support level down in here that we would catch this level. You can see we're catching all of these price action points right in here. And if that were to fail, well, then my goodness, we're probably looking for a situation where we could be retesting um, those lows um, of 2023. So um, watch carefully for that. That would be one of those heartbreaker moves um, if you're a bull. Let's take a look um, at our VIX here, guys. Our VIX, well, rallied above the 20 handle for the close yesterday um, as a little bit of fear came into the market. But I don't think there's anything here that's terrible just yet. Obviously, some concern um, if that debt ceiling situation, the Fitch potential downgrade, and, and then I think there's a good chance other rating agencies will begin to pile on here soon. So uh, they don't want to be left behind, you know. So we'll want to watch for that possibility and that pressure uh, being built here. But if the bears continue to find inspiration, um, look for that push up. Remember, um, we don't. We don't count on a support level until that support level is approved. Uh, approved. So breaking through that area is one thing. Notice we've done that before and then completely reversed. So we need to see proof if those bears are going to continue to hold on here, proof that they're going to hold that higher low to push on higher. If those bulls find inspiration, I think there's a reasonable chance with NVIDIA and the, the power of um, tech right now that we could get that relief rally here today and push back down into this range. So I would be looking for that possibility. If we take a look at our T2122, well, our T2122 um, showed us yesterday that, well, we're pretty on pretty bearish here um, on T2122. We're down here near that bullish reversal zone. So that gives us that hope that we can push back to the upside and with um, 
the the power of big tech this morning i think that is a likely possibility that will bounce back up now whether we can continue to sustain that that'll be the question if uh, more rating agencies or things like that kind of pile on as we wander around in the dark um, on these debt negotiations so watch carefully for that if the bulls find inspiration certainly we got plenty of upside opportunity and if the bears find in inspiration here today we still have some downside opportunity which i know not too many people want to hear but that uh, certainly is a possibility if we take a look at our t2108 well t2108 pulled back but you know i don't think anything changed here um, on this selling yes we're back down here testing the bottom of that wedge but I don't think anything changed here. I think we're still winding around in the same price area um, with very little momentum in either direction. We find um, a support level here and we're trapped between a resistance level here. We're just not um, improving all that much. 36, 37% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. If we look at our T2107, whoops. T2107, well, same thing is true. We're back down here testing the lower side of this price wedge, tightening up, tightening up. 38% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. We still have that big old head and shoulders pattern here to be thinking about, and um, we continue to be trapped between price resistance and price support. Um, still just kind of wandering in the dark. If we take a look at our T2101, T2101 is the absolute breadth of the market. It's to show us momentum despite the direction of the market. So um, we can see we had a little tiny bit of momentum pickup on the selling. Here we actually had um, a follow through, which we haven't seen for uh, several days. It's just been whip one way, whip another way, whip one way, and, and we're not gaining any ground. Um, as you can see, we're trapped underneath some resistance here. We're just um, we're just having kind of a failure to thrive, except on tech giants. Tech giants are doing great. Everything else, not so much. So we need to see um, some kind of spark of energy here um, to move us along either um, into a full-on bull move um, in the market to inspire that breadth to come in or the full-on bear move to inspire uh, that breadth. So watch carefully here. We're just not getting a whole lot of movement. Um, in the Big point moves, but we're not gaining any ground. If we take a look at um, our economic calendar for today, our economic calendar, well, we've got a few things that we're going to want to be paying attention to this morning. As you can see here, we're going to be dealing with a GDP number first thing this morning that consensus is suggesting is going to come in exactly the same as last time at 1.1 so watch that close we've got jobless claims these pesky jobless claims continue to flip around all over the place last week we saw a massive decline of 22,000 in jobless claims because of fraud in the system and uh, who knows what happens today, but they are expecting a ever so slight increase in claims uh, today. So watch carefully for that. We're going to have Chicago National Fed activity, corporate profits. We've got two Fed speakers today. We're going to hear from pending home sales and natural gas report. And then as we progress through the day, just keeping in mind, we've got bond auctions and a Fed balance sheet at the end of the day. If we take a look into Friday, boy, it doesn't get any better for us on Friday. We go right into durable goods, international trading goods, and then the Fed's favorite number, that PCE number. So keep an eye on that. We're going to have inventories. We're going to have consumer sentiment. It's going to be a big economic day um, on 
Friday morning. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, uh, today is our busiest day of earnings. And guys, I'm not gonna be able to go through all of these today, um, cover them all. So if you wanna catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. Then um, that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. A few of them I'll cover here this morning. We're going to have ADSK that we'll be reporting today. We've got Best Buy that's going to be on, on uh, the calendar. Uh, Costco is going to be on the calendar. Uh, Decker's is going to report today. So as you can see, kind of a big um, theme of retail here. Um, GPS is also reporting today. Besides that, we're going to have st stuff like MDT, reporting we're going to hear from ralph loren we've got td that's going to be reporting ulta beauty will be reporting today vmware and w day will also be reporting gapping up this morning here as you can see apparently its report was good now whether it will break out of that resistance that's in question so watch that closely guys as you move through the day and remember if you want to catch that full list click that link below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up to, for today but before we do that guys if you can do me this favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when that pops up so that you can be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could also do me that favor, that would be click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure you're doing your own due diligence, being very, very careful here in the market and planning your trading based on your rules, your guidelines and your risk tolerance. Never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at Carvana. Carvana popping up here um, through this resistance and notice that we've had a really nice resting pattern in here. And with the bullishness that we might be seeing in the tech sector, at least this morning, there may be that opportunity that this is gonna finally pop and move to the upside. We don't exactly know where the beginning of that trend is yet until we follow through to the upside, but we're looking good on Carvana. I would definitely have that one on the list. You might wanna be keeping an eye in this oil sector. I've had an alert here on Valero. Valero breaking this downtrend here in the chart, trying to move up. We're gonna see um, if this, we know we, we may have an OPEC, uh, a further OPEC uh, cut. We saw major declines in supplies yesterday um, on our oil sector, petroleum status numbers. So keep an eye on that. We may start to see some of these uh, refiners, uh, uh, oil producers uh, moving back up. And I've been talking about that here the last few days. So keep an eye on that. You might also want to take a look at some of exploration rig. Um, rig picking up here nice little break of the downtrend trying to break through some resistance any hold any consolidation in here I think sets up that upside trend I would watch carefully for a stock like rig speaking of energy I think it would be wise to be keeping an eye on UNG now UNG has come up out of this bottom and I have a bias on this because I'm long this with with stock and I'm looking for to add to this position if, and that's a big if right now, if we can hold these higher lows in here and hang on, if we can push on higher, and that I may be looking to add to that trade. And I'll let me show you here, this is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. And a rounded bottom breakout pattern 
is has just been one of those very powerful patterns that I've traded over and over and over over the years. Um, yeah, the the name Round and Bottom Breakout was given to it by my partner Rick Sadler. It's just a, one of those beautiful patterns in the market where price breaks above the 50-day moving average, and then we need that proof that we can hold. And what we're going to be looking for is we're going to be looking for that 50-day moving average to start to flatten out and turn to the upside. Notice that our short-term moving averages, our 8 exponential, our 34 exponential, our 20-day moving average are all starting to turn up and provide that little bit of moving average squeeze on that to the upside. So watch that carefully. If that turns around, that has that upside opportunity. And we're a long ways from our 200-day moving average in here. So I wouldn't expect we're going to get any kind of a straight-up move. But I think over time, um, um, UNG could really start to pick up here. So watch that close. The questions that continue to, to plague us here in the oil sector is how much demand destruction on recession may might we see here on this. So this is not certain. Be very, very careful here. Make sure you're planning your trading very carefully based on your rules in the trade. Let's take a look at uh, Marvel. MRVL taken off here to the upside. Um, had uh, that earnings report um, here today. Watch that closely. Just ripping in here, trying to push on through some resistance. I think that needs I don't want to chase that here, a little rest or pull back, and that could set up an opportunity though. Um, let's take a look at um, Garmin here. Garmin has been holding up in a nice little upside pattern, as you can see, breaking through resistance, holding in here. Yesterday, well, we had a little bit of pressure uh, coming into that chart. Let's see if this can hold in this area for that next upside opportunity. Boy, you know, when we start looking at some of the charts in, whoops, in the um, defensive sector area, boy, some of them are looking horrible now. Uh, 3M, big, ugly breakdown yesterday, trying to break to new lows, as you can see. This would be, this is just a tragic picture here. We're just continuing to fall here in 3M. Watch that close. I think that could be short. I wouldn't chase it. Little rally back, and then I would be looking short um, in that trade. If you take a look at other stocks in that area, uh, defensive sector, boy, what a reversal. We were looking at this bullish pattern not that long ago where we had rallied up, holding a higher low. I was waiting to see if that was going to break out up here, and nope, um, we're off to the races to the downside. Again, I wouldn't chase it, rally back, and then I would look for that opportunity. And we're seeing that in a lot of these um, defensive sector stocks, KHC potentially setting up short to the downside. Now, I don't know if that will continue, but I think it's, it's just part of that worry of recession, demand destruction, things like that. Take a look at Roku. If you're looking for something bullish, Roku making that break through some downtrend here in that chart. Um, I think this rest or pullback in here would set up the next opportunity in Roku. You do want to be mindful of the fact that we're we're back in this range um, and we could be stuck there for a little while longer, but keep an eye on that. Um, Twillow my goodness, Twilo rocket shot to the upside here. Um, this needs some rest, some consolidation, some kind of a pullback to, to be able to be a trade. Just too much all at once. But any resting pullback in here, I think, would set up an opportunity to the upside. So keep an eye on that. Uh, TSM. Now, certainly TSM, there's plenty of concern out there with TSM and the actions that China and things like that are doing but they're getting a big gap up here this morning based on the nvidia you know the sympathy for nvidia report and those chips and you can see a big pop to the upside here on tsm any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity congrats to those who caught that here we've been talking about tsm in right way options here so i know that there are some traders um, in that position. So with that guys running out of time here this morning, be very, very careful in the market. We're continuing to see um, the US dollar strengthen as those bond yields go up, suggesting more and more and more as that inversion continues to put more and more pressure on the banking and the risk of 
a substantial recession, in my opinion, is probably on the way with these um, inversions being so, so extreme. So be careful here. Um, anything is possible and just make sure you're paying very close attention to the price action of the chart. So with that, everyone, have an awesome day. Be safe, be careful, have a wonderful one, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. I wish you all the best.